I'd like to talk about Swift again today. And it's been a little while since I was working on that weather app thing, and I thought I'd come back to it today. Um, in the last example, I had um, I had actually you know connected to the internet and gotten the the weather data off of um, Open Weather Map and. You know, I was looking at that and I was thinking, you know, we can do a little better than what we did in that example. So I, I took a step back here and in this example, um, I have my, my elements arrayed in storyboard here. And I've got this button on the toolbar at the bottom that opens up the um, alert box. And that's all that's going on here. So there's my app. I click the button. It opens up the... Uh, alert controller and then you can type in a city here and I'm going to type in hello city and then I'll hit return and and or hit enter and you can see that hello city shows up here um, so you know all I pretty much have here is this one you know IB action right here for the uh, the city button and um, and you know it creates a new alert controller a cancel button and an OK button and, um, and then it adds those actions and then it creates a text field. And when the, uh, when the OK button is, is, is tapped, it executes this little block of code here for the OK button. And that pretty much just gets the name of the city, okay? So I'm gonna start here today. And what I'd like to do is create another class that will do the work of getting the, the data from open weather map and then that way you know this view controller here doesn't have to have all the code in it that handles getting the weather data okay so all, all this view controller is going to do is it's going to interact with another class that represents you know essentially our model for the data okay and then this will pass that data on to the um, UI elements, right? And that's the that's the function of the controller in the model view controller system, right? Um, I don't pretend to be any kind of uh, computer science person. Um, you know, I'm an I'm an artist, so uh, you know that's how I understand it. But uh, but yeah, you know, it's I think it's pretty close. So uh, so here we are. I've got my I've got my you know, UI labels here to show my city data, and then I've got my UI action here for the button, and then I've got my view controller. So um, on my, my view did load, and you know, all this is in my in my view controller here. So so how do we get, uh, how do we make another class that's gonna do something for us? Let's do a quick example. I'm going to uh, make a new Swift file. So what I'll do is I, I did Command N, or you can go to File, New File, okay? And in here, there's a bunch of files, and I, I'm going to go up to the top group here, um, iOS, and there's a bunch of different file types here. And what I want to do is create a Swift file. And, you know, this just creates a generic Swift file, and we can just write any code we want into it. If we want to create one of the built-in classes from Coco Touch, then we can use one of these Coco Touch classes here. But but the file we create is actually not going to be one of the base Coco Touch classes, and it's not going to inherit from any of those classes. It's just going to be, you know, something that we create. So so I'm going to choose this file, Swift file, and it'll ask me where I want to save that. And so I'll save it here. Um, I actually have an example called Open Weather Map. We're actually going to create that. So I'll I'll make a new copy here. Open weather. I'm going to call it Open Weather Map. Dot Swift, right? And uh, and I'll save it. And then there's my file there. Okay. And you can see it gives me this import statement at the top that says you know foundation. And so the foundation um, classes have or the foundation you know library has a bunch of uh, you know just basic you know Swift functions and stuff in it okay so now we can we can use all that stuff in this file here because we, we've imported it okay so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna make a new class okay so a class is the template for an object so what we're gonna do is this this class is gonna define what open weather map objects look like and in our view controller we'll create an instance of this open weather map class and then that you know view controller will have have a a copy of this class to work with okay or an instance of it okay and uh, when you define a class you you use the keyword class 
followed by the name of your class and then the code block or the curly braces, right? And I'm going to call this one Open Weather Map as the class name, okay? Uh, it's you, you can actually name the class anything you want. Um, it's pretty much the standard system to name the class after the name of the file, even though they don't have to match. But it would be a little confusing if they didn't match because, you, you know, you'd see the name here and, you know, it, you'd think it was one file or there was one class in there, but actually there's a different class. So, so we should keep those the same. Okay, so now, you know, every every um, class creates objects, right? It's it's pretty much the template or the you know the 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 blueprint for creating an object. And um, so, you know, so what is an object, right? An object is is I guess you could define it as a collection of variables and functions. Okay, so, you know, essentially inside this class definition, we're going to define variables, right? And then we might define some functions too, okay? Um, and you can have as many variables and functions as you like in here, right? And when we have a class or an object, if it has variables in it, we call those properties, right? So properties are variables that belong to an object, and if we have functions in an object, then we call those methods. So methods are, are functions that belong to an object. So here's our here's our open weather map object here. And I'm going to give it um, a couple properties. I'm going to give it a property called city name, right? And we'll call it, um, how about uh, Barcelona, right? And then we'll give it a, another property here. How about, um, you know, temperature and I'll just put uh, you know 77 in there okay and we're gonna add some more stuff later right and you know in in classes in Swift the variables or properties are um, they're glow they're they're public essentially by default so so if we made an instance of this class we could get these properties out of it um, from from the instance okay so let's uh, let's try that out Right, so what I'd like to do here is just as a little experiment is I would like to create an instance of, of the, uh, the open weather map class here inside of my view controller and then access the two properties that I've created inside here and get their values, okay? So I'll switch back to view controller and at the top here I'm going to create a var and I'll call it open weather and I'll set it equal to an open weather map instance there right I don't know why it wasn't code hinting that for me but that should be the name open weather map let me check my case there yeah I think that looks okay um, so anyway, here I've, I've made a new instance of this class. So in Swift, when you make a new instance of a class, you pretty much just say the class name and follow it with the parentheses, okay? So what I'd like to do now is when this class loads, right, or when, when this view loads, right, I'm going to get a message called view did load, okay, and we're down here. And that's the, one of the default functions you'll get in your view controller. Um, if you don't have it, you can write it yourself. And what I'd like to do is I'd like to get the two property values out of here and assign them to, to my UI labels. So essentially, I want to look at the open weather map class, get its city name, and assign it to the city name label, and get the temp and assign it to the temp label. Okay? So simple, um, simple task there. So to get those, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say city uh, name label dot uh, text right and I'll set it equal to you know open weather dot uh, city hey what did I call that guy I don't think I called him oh I called him city name so for some reason this is not showing up here um, why would that not be showing up well Let's, let's try it again. I don't know why it's not code hinting me, but we'll call this guy city name and we'll, uh, we'll give it a test. So it's not, uh, it's not um, code hinting for me right now, but maybe there's something wrong. Let's click the test here and see if it gives me an error, right? And oh, look, it says Barcelona. 
So I'm not sure Xcode was just choking right there and not really helping me out. Um, but you can see that it did change the, um, the city name, right? So I, I'm essentially looking at this object that I've created and I'm accessing its properties and essentially you just use the dot. Okay, so we say, you know, name of object or name of instance of the object and then follow it with the dot and the name of, of the property that we want, right? So here's our object, open weather map, right? Or open weather, right here. And then here it's an instance of the open weather map object, which is this guy. And then this guy has, you know, um, these two properties. Let's try that again with the temperature property. And um, I think there's something about this still processing files that's maybe not allowing it to, um, to do the code hints. Um, let, let's give it a try. So I'll say, uh, how about uh, temp label dot uh, text equals, you know, open weather dot um, temp. Yeah, for some reason, this one's still not still not showing me the right the right names there, but that's okay. So uh, so anyway, there's my there's my my next property there. Let's give it a trial. I'll, I'll click uh, test here. And uh, oh yeah, look, it says 77 degrees, right? And that was the um, that was the value that we set here, right? So what we'd like to do, okay, so I mean this example is very simple, right? But what we'd like to do is we'd like to have this class go out on the internet, grab the weather, store the weather data in some variables that we can access easily. And our other class here now will just grab those variables from open weather map and it doesn't really care, you know, where they came from. Okay, so it doesn't care how open weather map goes about getting the stuff on the internet. It doesn't care whether it's JSON or whatever. All it needs to do is look at this object here and then get the properties that it wants. Okay, so that's our general, our general model and this uses the, you know, the um, object-oriented, you know, programming paradigm that is kind of built into all the, the Apple stuff, right? And, uh, you know, essentially we're defining a class which allows us to create objects or instances of the class. And then every class can have properties, right? And we can also have some functions. We'll add some of those later. Um, I'll just stop here and then make another video where we add some more features, right?